first, some tragic news from Queens and that high school right down there where a 16 year old student died while playing basketball in Flushing. I would reporter Josh Einiger live at the high school with the story. Josh. Uh, Bill, grief counselors spent the afternoon here talking to some basketball players at John Bowne High School after what they witnessed uh, earlier today. Let's show you video from Newscopter 7. The NYPD's 107 precinct uh, came to lend support. This happened at around noon. A student identified by the city as Lenny Pierre, a 16 year old basketball player, collapsed during a practice uh, and was pronounced dead at the hospital. Uh, it's not entirely clear uh, medically what happened to lead to this situation, although uh, investigators say there certainly are no signs of foul play. Here. There is no investigation to be had, just a really, really awful and sad tragedy. Uh, the mayor has released a statement uh, about this situation, saying he is heartbroken to hear of Lenny Pierre's passing as a parent and as a father of student athletes. He continued, I can only imagine the pain and sorrow being felt by Lenny's family, loved ones, and classmates on behalf of eight. 0.6 million New Yorkers. I extend our deepest condolences. We will be with this family now and in the future as we mourn the loss of one of our city's children. Uh, as I said, uh, students uh, who watched this happen before their eyes today uh, had an opportunity to speak to grief counselors here at the school uh, before they uh, uh, filtered out and headed home to be with their own families. There's a basketball tournament, I'm told, coming up this weekend here, this school and several others, uh, and there are already plans uh, to pay tribute to this particular player uh, at that tournament this weekend.